Now we go to uh, student uh, Hidayah Bilwi. Tfadli uh, Hidayah, Tfadli. You can share your screen now. You can share your uh, presentation. Go to, uh, you have uh, English or French version uh, of Meet. Uh, activate your phone, activate your uh, microphone. Adel, Adel, let me first please introduce the students. Can I do that? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to introduce your student, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hidayah uh, Birwi uh, is one of, uh, let's say, the first students in our promotion, okay? And uh, uh, we were very happy to work with, with her. So we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we suggest her to work with us, with Seat Khodri, with, uh, which is not here now. Yeah, he's working. <laughs> also the day. So, uh, and uh, we asked there to to try to do uh, analysis, analysis, statistical analysis of uh, almost 18 patients. Okay, uh, and uh, try to convince us which is the best. Yeah. And so we, she is doing a comparison between two planning planning uh, calculation. Okay. Uh, one with five feet and the other with seven feet. We will see the uh, dosimetric index and we will do a comparison, serious comparison, and then we will we'll find out which is the best. So we will we, discuss that. We will discuss that later. Yes. Perfect, perfect. 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 Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, this. Uh, yes, no problem, no problem. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm going to introduce you uh, my topic, uh, name it. Dosimetric impacts of 2 by 6 in the case of prostate cancer. This work is done uh, in collabor collaboration with the uh, Center of uh, Fight Against Cancer uh, here in CITIF. Our aim is to compare between the two uh, plans. We have two plans, 5 beams and 7 beams. Uh, using a dosimetric analysis and to define which is the, the better plan to use in the treatment of prostate cancer. I'm going to... As an introduction, now we are talking about the prostate cancer. It is one of the most deadly cancers that affects millions of men each year. Uh, the exact cause uh, of developing prostate cancer is not known for uh, until now. Uh, the majority of uh, cases uh, being diagnosed in men uh, are between uh, the age of 15, uh, 15 and 18 years and 18 years. Uh, I'm going to start to, to present uh, a summary about prostate cancer anatomy. It is uh, the prostate. It is a fibromuscular glandular organ. It has a size of uh, well not. It is divided into three um, three zones. Uh, we have central zones, uh, transition zones, and the uh, peripheral zones. Uh, it is surrounded by uh, different organs, as uh, uh, the rectum and the, the bladder. Uh, the main factors, we can say that uh, there are factors that uh, could lead to the prostate cancer, like aging, as we uh, mentioned that uh, the, the, the men have uh, between the age uh, uh, 15 and 18 years could uh, have prostate cancer. We have also heredity, uh, the chronic inflammation, and the, the genetic factors and mutation. On the other hand, before, uh, before uh, taking a decision that uh, the, uh, the prostate cancer exists, we have to do a several examination. Uh, the main examination is uh, the PSA uh, uh, factor, which is a prostate-specific antigen. Uh, he is uh, a principal at the examination, the digital examination. We have also imaging, we use the different modalities. Uh, 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 as CT, MRI, and the ultrasound, and the, the main uh, the main diagnostic diagnostic exam is the ultrasound the guided biopsy. After taking a decision of the appearance of prostate of prostate cancer, we can 
we can uh, fight it by using those methods. We have active servers, uh, presexomy, and uh, hormone therapy, chemotherapy, brachytherapy, and we are using in this work the external beam radiation therapy uh, with the photon nuts. The inverse planning system. Uh, we used the, the, uh, the MRC in our work. We are based in the, of the, uh, the inverse planning system. The, uh, the main steps of uh, the, uh, this uh, planning is the, the imaging. Then we contour those, the treated volumes and <coughs> the organ as a risk. In this case, we have uh, the rectum and the bladder and femoral head. Then we prescribe the doses where the, uh, the doses and the, the specifies the beam's uh, energy number and directions. After that, we calculate the dose, uh, doses and uh, optimize the plans. And also, we have to define the dose constraints and the dose constraints and uh, optimize and calculate the dose. The optimization process, uh, process is uh, following the steps, these steps. Uh, first of all, we have uh, a setup of uh, field geometry. Then we have to define the optimization objectives uh, to achieve the desired dose. Also, we have to uh, modulate the fluence resulting from optimization. The, after that, the, uh, the shape of the doses will be result. Uh, this work uh, in, uh, from uh, the, we have uh, we have choose uh, the airport fractionated radiotherapy. Uh, we have a total dose of 16 uh, gray, uh, three gray per day, and uh, for the 20 fraction. We, uh, we are the, for uh, chosen uh, the, the patients. We have uh, those uh, two options if. Uh, the patient have a low uh, risk of process cancer with a glycine score 6 or less and precise specific antigen serum construction PSI, PSI equal to uh, 10 or less and the local state uh, uh, CT2A or less. Uh, other option is an intermediate risk of prostate cancer. Uh, for for uh, uh, taking uh, the hypofractionated uh, chosen, uh, there, are, there are different uh, studies. Uh, per, uh, one of the per, uh, one of the, stud the these studies are the profit. Uh, they use the the, uh, the value of uh, alpha alpha beta ratio equal to one point five gray. Then. When, when, when we calculate for the bed and uh, uh, the AQD2, uh, we have those results. For the conventional, we have total sort of dose 78. And for the hypofractionated, we have the 60 uh, gray as a total dose. Uh, as we can see here, that uh, we have almost equal uh, results for both. Uh, 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 both regimen uh, uh, use it, uh, so that we can say that for a uh, biological dose, we have uh, um, we, we can see that uh, the hypofractionated uh, gives uh, the same results, almost the same result of the conventional uh, treatment. For the dosimetric analysis, we have used. A different indexes as conformity indexes, the homogeneity indexes, and the similarity indexes. For the dosimetric indexes, uh, as we can see here, uh, the recommended values uh, for the conformity index we have indicated value plus one, and the, the good the homogeneity is indicated by a value close to zero. And the good similarity is indicated by a value close to one. For uh, the organ at risk, we have, uh, at risk, we have uh, uh, some uh, limits. 
as we can see as we can see here for the next <coughs> one, we have uh, to uh, uh, to see the volumes at uh, those doses for the rectum and for the bladder also we have limits uh, for from doses and from uh, femoral heads also we have this limits we are going now to our application as we can see here we have used the eclipse system uh, for uh, the planification uh, the planification of radiotherapy uh, we have applied the main uh, steps of uh, under supply system first of all we have to contour the volume volumes we have here uh, the ptv it is the treated volume and the, the other organ at risk then we have to create our plants uh, we're going to start with seven beans then we go for uh, five beans sorry then we go for seven beans as we can see here we have the five beans here and the seven bean, beans here the main difference between the two beans is the uh, the, the number of angles and the direction of uh, the, uh, these angles then we have to optimize each plant optimize the doses we have here the uh, optimi optimization uh, optimization uh, template it is uh, contains different uh, different values we have here the, to define the objectives either lower or uh, uh, higher or lower uh, objectives and we have also uh, main values it is the resolution and the propriety of uh, priority of each objective then the resulted uh, histograms should uh, should, uh, should uh, i mean uh, they uh, could predict it by uh, the objectives given by uh, given by the system after that we can have the final uh, uh, histograms for both uh, uh, five beams and uh, seven beams in one uh, space that we can we can uh, take uh, an overview of uh, the resulting uh, doses and volumes we have here uh, from each uh, histograms as we can see here there uh, this is the this curve is represented the ptv 16 uh, also these are the other uh, organ at least we have we can see here the bladder and uh, the rectum uh, and both of the femoral heads we are going now to take our um, uh, limits we can take uh, the dose at uh, uh, the max dose and the mean dose and the, the minimum dose for uh, for this uh, have we have the max dose and the, the mean dose and uh, the minimum dose and the mean dose we are going to use them to calculate the indexes also we have the limit is um, as mentioned in the the previous table for uh, the the organ at risk now we are moving to our results first of all uh, the conformity index as we can see here uh, for both plants we are they are almost the the two are close to one so they are satisfying the values recommended values but we have to uh, see which which is which uh, values are closer to one then so, so we, we, uh, we use the, the the following formula which represents the absolute or uh, absolute error uh, well, and we uh, indicate that the seven beam is uh, a reference so we can see here that uh, about uh, the most uh, patients have a uh, good values for seven beams uh, better than for five beams for the homogeneity index also we can see that uh, they are both uh, satisfying the, the recommended values 
And we can see here that for the seven beams, are the, uh, most of the patients have values for seven beams that better than five beams. The same thing, but we have to uh, uh, for the similarity index uh, for for this uh, for both uh, plans we have they are also uh, satisfying the recommended values, but and they are but we can see here that for the seven beams are closer to the recommended values than the, the those four five beams. We are going to uh, then uh, for the organ at risk. We have also the same results. We can see that all, always uh, we have the same uh, uh, the, the same observation that for the both seven beam and five beams, uh, all satisfying the recommended values. But we can see here that some patients. For uh, have values for seven beams better, but there are also some patients have uh, the opposite side, which is for the uh, five beams are better. In this case also, we can see that uh, it is the same results for the rectum also, that uh, seven beams and five beams, four, four, seven, five and five beams, they are uh, almost uh, uh, the same uh, distribution for the values. Now we're going to the bladder. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we have also, as we can see here, there are the two plans uh, satisfied the, re the, the recommended value. Uh, but we have that most values for past seven beams are closer than for fatal, uh, those for five beams. We have also here most values for seven beams, as we can see here, are better than five beams. For this also, we have also the, the same observation that seven beams are better than five beams for most uh, patients. At last, we have for the femoral heads, we have about uh, 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 almost all values closer to zero. So we can't uh, take a decision or uh, can't compare because they are almost uh, all equal to zero. As a summary of our results, we can see for both homogeneity index and conformity index, similarity index, and also for the bladder content, all, uh, all content and for femoral heads, uh, uh, sorry, for uh, those we have that seven beams gives uh, better values than for the five beams, but in the rectum we have some patients uh, gives some values uh, better for five beams. As a uh, uh, conclusion, uh, we can uh, reach our aim, which is define uh, the better plans. As we can see but for, from our results, uh, we, we see that the seven beam plans is uh, the better to use in this treatment. For over uh, using or for over analyzing, we can, we can use a radiological tools and it is, uh, it is going to be a future work. And thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Hidayah Bilwi. It's a very important presentation. Uh, please, anyone uh, have a question? You can deactivate your presentation now, Hidayah. How we have to do that? Okay, okay. Uh, as you uh, share uh, the same thing. Anyone have a question, please? Okay, all right. Yes. Okay. Saeed Bali. Uh, I Saeed Bali. Uh, first, uh, I want Hidayah for this uh, good presentation. I have uh, some remarks and uh, some uh, questions. Uh, 
What about, uh, you, you have compared these two techniques of uh, five fields and seven fields. Uh, uh, for the uh, unit monitors uh, number, uh, because logically, uh, when you, we choose the uh, seven fields, it will be better than for five fields. It's yes. a long weekend. When we use more fields, for uh, example, when we use rapid art, it's better than fixed field because we have uh, more incidence. But uh, I think it was be, it will be better if you have uh, studied the uh, unit number, uh, monitor unit numbers for uh, each uh, each technique and also the treatment time because the uh, the big problem of the fixed field IMRT is the, the treatment time for patient to be on the table. Uh, when we uh, we uh, we increase the field number, we increase the time of exposure, we increase the time of patient on the table. So this uh, this uh, will uh, uh, moderate the uh, the apport of uh, seven fields. Perhaps uh, it will be uh, five better with uh, uh, reduced number of unit monitors and uh, reduced time on table. Uh, then, because we have seen that with the seven, the uh, the increase in the uh, rectum dose or in the, the uh, bladder dose is not very very, very important. So. Uh, we can't choose compromise between time and between number of fields. If you continue this uh, study with the, the introduction of the two parameters, monitor unit and the time, the time on, the, on, the, on the table, and incorporating also the image techniques, because uh, the, time, the, time, the image will be also, also be uh, more uh, important. Thank you. Thank you. It is good there. We do not precisely, Miss. You have to do it. Does not take to confirm it. Okay, thank you, uh, Doctor. Uh, 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 the question of Mohammed Salah, doctor, is very interesting. Okay, we 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 should, of course, we we should uh, uh, include the uh, the time of treatment, of course, and then. The number of the monitor units. I think I agree completely with you. Okay, yeah. so I think that um, it should be better that we include that on with the indexes, okay, or dosimetric index, and then we can uh, co conclude on, on, on if whether it's it's. Anyway, we wanted to see uh, if the student is able to do a uh, dosimetric analysis of our results uh, just by using the ICRU uh, 62 and then the, the supplement just to see. If we really, we know that, this, that from physical point that if we increase the number of the uh, the beams, uh, of course the of course we, it's it's like beams, okay, which you have in your center. So we wanted to see that in details, okay, and we want to see that if we do really a dosimetric analysis, whether we can obtain these results. And I think that uh, as like a master subject. I think that we were really happy to see these indexes on uh, on on uh, uh, thesis, master student thesis. Okay, and um, yes, you're right. Um, but I think that I remember that I have seen the number of monitor units. Uh, yeah. the, the, Do you have any? Yes, we have the uh, uh, the comparison between uh, the the two uh, monitor unit numbers. But for uh, the time of treatment, there we haven't the much time to do. Uh, so, but, but uh, what, 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 what the monitor is the number were 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 equal or different? No, no, not, different. not too much. Different. It is so, uh, greater for uh, the seven. Set of course. Yeah. But, but Mohammed Salah, what is the uh, the uh, the advantage? What is the the point if if it's not too too different? What do you what, what is the your your opinion is? What is, why it's important to have the monitor units? I'm sure that the numbers should not be different. Because if uh, for every patient we can make two plans, uh, seven fields and uh, five fields, mm -hmm. if the, uh, the increase in rectal dose or in uh, bladder dose is not important, and we have, for example, 20% more units, uh, uh, monitor units, or 20% or 30% more time on table, we can choose the field, five fields also uh, better. Because uh, it's not, the apport of uh, seven field is not uh, very big, but if there is uh, 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 in, uh, an increase in uh, bladder or in rectal dose from the five field, then we should choose the seven field. I think that if for every patient we can analyze there and make some group of patients for this group of patients when we have. Uh, uh, 
we irradiate, for example, the seminal vesicles or we irradiate the nodes. We can choose the fire and when there is only the prostate and uh, in the PTV 78, 78 or, so, or in the 60, we can choose only the, the five fields. It's better because we have more, less time and with the same, the same doses to the rectal and the bladder uh, power. But, but Mohammed Salah, sorry, but I, this is what we wanted to show that, okay, okay this, is, this was the idea of the subject, is starting for, from what you said, and uh, we started this, this study. And then if you have seen the last, last uh, summer, the table of uh, summary uh, of all the patients, so this is what I've also seen. And if I have, uh, look, if we chosen 18, I think, 18 patients, and I was surprised that for all of them, the uh, dosimetric indexes for seven days were much better than for, for five. Even, mm -hmm. even look, even thought that you, you are right. Both can satisfy what is recommended. Both techniques, but we have seen that for eighty patients, all the indexes mm -hmm. for seven days are much better, closer to the recommended values. And only the two parameters you just cited, okay? So time and monitor units. I don't know whether the monitoring will, I don't know how much this will probably change our, our study, or, but the time, yes. The time, I think that we have estimated a little bit something like, if you add two bins, this will take, you know that much better than me. Maybe uh, two, two minutes? Uh, two? two? Two or three minutes, yes. Okay, two, if we, uh, so for 60 patients, you are, you are right. We, we may have a, a delay of one hour by the end of the day. Mm. Yes, you're right. But, but the quality of the treatment is much better, I think, with seven beams. Of course, this is when you don't have VMAT in your center or art therapy, okay? So mm. this, yeah. It's and a compromise. It's a compromise. But I, 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 we have seen here that for seven beams, Mohammed is, yeah, this is what we wanted to see. Because many people have said that it depends on what what are the indexes you are working on. So what we, we, we did is the most important ones you have seen, and we included the Jakar, Jakar index. This was nice to do it, okay. And the rest is the usual, you know, uh, contains for the, uh, but I really, I was surprised to see that for all of them, for 18 beams, 18 patients, sorry, the indexes were mm, much better for seven beams. So I think that, yeah, which I, I recommend for any, any people to use seven beam, even if you have a delay of one hour. I, I think it's my, my opinion. Even it's, you know, time consuming for some people, but you know, the health of people are much better than time. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the presentation. It's uh, it's a good work to to share the difference between seven fields and five fields. But as a clinical and medical physician, we should think all the time about the time treatment for patient on table. So okay. even if you have a good plane with seven beams and uh, it takes one hour, I couldn't take it because the patient cannot stand on the table for one hour. So no. you should think about the patient. Uh, comfort on the table treatment, so to deliver a good plan. So you should have a balance between having a good plan, having dosimetric plan, and having uh, enough time, suitable time for patient to to get the treatment on the table, because it can't wait for a long time to deliver a long treatment time uh, on the table. So. Even so, you should all the time think about the balance. We have many, many, uh, many index to to make comparison and so on. But all the time, find the balance between a good dosimetric plant and the treatment delivery on the spectrum. Uh, yeah, it's my, it's my, I, this is what yes. I wanted to emphasize here. I don't yes. think that I will. I agree with you for this. Okay, look, if you add for five beams, I am asking you, you are clinician. How many? How time will take five beams? Um, I'm not doing IMRT, so I can't tell you how, how time it takes. No, I will tell you. Probably. It, it, it's, it's longer. It's, it's longer time. It takes maybe more than 15 minutes. No, 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 no not 15 minutes. I think because five beams with IMRT, if, if you have an average uh, monitoring it by, by each beam, it's around 100 or 200 MU. So yeah. uh, 100 or 200 MU, it takes at least maybe four minutes, maybe, to treatment. So you, you, you did the equation for 
multiply by five, you have 20 minutes in average. Okay. Okay, anyway, we will, we will assume that it's 20. So anyway, we will have 20 minutes for five five bits, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the, the, the minimum, okay? So yeah. what about if we, we, we add eight minutes, okay? And you have, you know, delivered a, 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 a good quality of treatment. This is what I'm showing to you, that with the indexes, if you... Yes, <laughs> I, but, yes I understand, but the difference is it's not so far, the difference. Mm. So, yeah, it, there is yes. a difference. Yes. No, okay. There is a big difference. I can show you that in details. If you come like next time, I will give you the numbers and we will see that it's very important. You know, you know, okay. if you if you do that, uh, it depends on you. If you if you add one hour, now people are working in the centers until eight. I think you are working until eight or nine. In cities, yeah. they are working until probably until eight or nine. But anyway, if you want really to have, you know. To deliver a good treatment, I think in one hour will not be a serious problem. No, but but but, but now what we are doing when you have a busy uh, a busy center, a busy services, so you should program each patient having a time at maximum no. twenty minutes per patient. Yeah, right. so we yeah, have eighty yeah, patients, yeah. so you, you can't you can't give <laughs> everything to one yeah, patient. Yeah, so yeah. You, have, you should have balance. Yeah. That's right. And no, what, yeah. what you know, you know, you know I, I, I'm from the university, so yes, I, I, I yes. I'm trying to explain to you. As a clinician, <laughs> so you should have all the time the balance. And then with the variant, yeah. you can have a treatment, uh, a better treatment that seven beams IMRT in less than ten minutes. With yeah, it's okay. I agree with you, but you know, it's your opinion from a private center. You know, but I, I believe from yeah. a in, 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 even in public center, it is it the same. It, it the same mean. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So you want to think like that? You, sh you should have you should treat a lot of patient and give a chance to a lot of patient and and, and having a good plan for all the patients. So it's a balance. You should uh, have it. Yeah. Anyway, in the ICU, it's never said that you have to take time as a parameter. Okay? It says that you have to check. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's only theoretical basics. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. When you have in theoretical parts and in clinical parts, it's not the same. So you should have you should balanced things okay uh, okay we accept yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's okay that's all uh, no, thanks. thank you mr arib uh i have a question uh, uh in, in in your clinic what uh, type of uh, machine are you using electa or uh, variant right. instead variant right. yeah yes um uh, okay uh have you an idea about the the dose uh, before uh, starting the start the treatment that we and uh, the uh, variant uh, i think it's xvi you are using xvi uh, have you any, any idea about the the dose to localize to answer the localization of the tumor before start the treatment what, what do you mean Please. It's not Lead with these things. You, you, you are probably to ask the clinician, you know, Ismail is here or Muhammad Salah. They can't say. But anyway, it's very easy. The, yeah. the, if you go, if you, if you are invited to, to use the TPS on the, in, in, in any center, you know, they will allow you to use a computer, you know, and on the computer you have to choose a sure. domain and you have to choose your contents and you start. So the other details, you don't care about these details. This is not your work. I'm showing. Yes, please. Uh, I think we, uh, I have understand what uh, Abd al Hay uh, what is uh, it? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's the, the, the dose and use it by the imaging. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah. and this, this, this uh, thing is uh, almost important when you use the MV images. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can uh, MV, uh, mega voltage images. This is uh, some increase in the dose of the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, actually, all people uh, using um, IMRT or VMAT use uh, KV, KV images, KV, KV. and the dose is very, very small compared to absorb those uh, uh, to the patient. It's uh, less yeah. than uh, one, uh, one for uh, 1,000 uh, person. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
I'm telling you, okay, it's KV, okay? It's not like uh, people who have this uh, RCO center, you know, they, there, there, is, there are problems because they use MV inside and then you have to add this one or two grays per uh, in the total. Okay, this is not the case. No. So it's just KV. Uh, so, uh, yes, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. yeah. yes, yes, you can. Uh, I'd like to thank you for giving me this chance. Both uh, you and Mr. Shali is giving me. This is my first uh, time. لا لا يا والله حاجه مليحه نلقاو اتيديونت معناها تبريزونتي وعندها الشجاعه وعاديه ما شاء الله والله غير فرحنا بزاف وانت تعطي دورك راكي تعطي اكزومبل على لي زيتيديونت اخرى او معنا حقين اكيد بون اكزومبل دورك ما شاء الله عليك ربي يوفقك ان شاء الله عقوبا للدكتور مسي عبد الحي تفضل يا سعد تفضل سي بلال مسي بلال نو اون كيستيون سيج تفضل وي 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 انا نستنى في الكيستيون تاعك سي بلال وي دونك جو سالو مسيو شعوي دونك سي بلال دكتور دو مدام من حلو سعديه دوغم الله يبارك مرحبا بك وي دونك جوست اون كيستيون هاف يو ميك ا كومباريزون بين سيموليشن افيك ان كود دو كالكول دو فوت ترافاي سا بو ريبون اي لي تيديون Uh, well, we didn't use uh, the simulation. We have all uh, applied directly uh, our uh, work on the patients. That's good. Okay. Sibylle, let's talk. 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 Donc, ça, ça, c'est-à-dire, vous n'avez pas fait une comparaison avec tout ce qui est simulation. Donc, c'est beaucoup plus clinique. Ça veut dire avec quoi, par exemple Donne-moi un exemple. C'est-à-dire, est-ce que, c'est-à-dire, est-ce que vous avez fait une, euh, une simulation pour faire, pour trouver une comparaison bon, Je sais que le clinique c'est fiable. Mais euh, vous n'avez pas fait une simulation, c'est-à-dire euh, par un code de calcul. Non, regarde, Bill, c'est pas oui. la définix Oui. Non, c'est éclipse, éclipse de variance. Ah, éclipse de variance. Éclipse de variance, c'est aussi des programmes, c'est de la simulation. Pour te dire, c'est aussi beaucoup de simulation, c'est rien. C'est des programmes, bon, mm -hmm. c'est en inverse, des algorithmes oui. d'optimisation. Là, oui. tu mets des contraintes, c'est un programme mathématique qui est en train de chercher, donc tu lui donnes des valeurs, il est en train d'optimiser et chercher quelles sont les bonnes valeurs pour respecter les contraintes pour les ordres à risque et pour la dose, pour, le, pour le, si tu veux, le volume euh, conservé. Donc, ah, c'est oui. une génération. Donc, ça, je ne pense pas qu'actuellement, oui. si, si tu veux faire des comparaisons, et oui. donc, on travaille aussi sur ça. Donc, il n'y a pas de code qui permet des, des comparaisons euh, à part clinique, je dis bien, oui. des codes cliniques qui sont implémentés comme TP, dans les TPS. À oui. part ça, tu ne peux pas trouver. Les seuls qui peuvent faire ça, c'est des codes Monte Carlo ou bien d'autres. Oui, Donc, ça, c'est pas. Même si tu utilises, moi, j'utilise beaucoup de Monte Carlo, mais arriver à utiliser des plans en IMRT, euh, oui. euh, non. Qui est primo, tu as primo Monte Carlo, écrit par Simpo et le groupe. Donc, ça, c'est primo, tu peux l'utiliser. Donc, il y a des versions. Mais ils ne sont pas arrivés au point donc, de faire quelque chose comme, comme, comme le FIC. Ce n'est oui. pas intéressant de faire des conférences, ce n'est pas Exactement. encore ça. Oui. Et encore, ça, ça demande beaucoup de, 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 de calculs, ça, ça demande un nombre de cœurs, parce que tu dois faire beaucoup de calculs en parallèle. C'est pour ça qu'on n'utilise pas beaucoup Monte Carlo euh, en détail pour la clinique, pas encore. Encore, il y a d'autres versions très, euh, très simplifiées. Exactement. Merci beaucoup, M. Charles. D'accord. Merci beaucoup. Euh, maintenant, on passe vers la euh, next presentation. Merci, M. Chawi, et merci pour la hidaya. Merci, M. Chawi. 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 Merci, M. Chawi.